So we have here a basic setup for electrolytic cleaning of a gun barrel. What I have is a steel rod from Home Depot, cost $6.99. Alligator clips that cost $2.99. Although as you can see there, what I've got is just bare exposed wire wrapped around the barrel so that I don't have any alligator clip marks doing anything to actually scratch the barrel. I cut the rod with a pair of bolt cutters. There's 70 cents of wire and a 2 times 5 or sorry double A cell battery holder that cost $2.99. I happen to be using the Fallout 2 system liquid here. This is a barrel I've been shooting for about 10 years and first time I've cleaned it this way and I think the guns lost about a pound of lead not really but an enormous volume of lead this is about the fifth go around that I've had on this and I'll show you here shortly what it looks like so while the camera was off I turned the power off and removed the alligator clip on top and we'll take a peek at this remember this is the fifth time that I've done this you can see what's supposed to be a straight clean stainless steel rod which is nothing but black and lead covered that for about ten dollars worth of parts and ten years worth of shooting so I've now done this about a dozen times and if you get a sense there of the chunks of lead that are still coming out of the process this is a barrel that was cleaned to mirror cleanliness and I would have bet there was absolutely nothing in and I'm still pulling out huge chunks of lead So just to go over what we've got here, we have a battery holder for two or three dollars from the source or Radio Shack. Uh, it has uh, two leads on it that I went to Home Depot, bought some 14 gauge wire, white here for the negative that you attach to the steel rod, bought some alligator clips and attach those together. So the rod is inside the barrel there with some solution. Uh, solution, I'm told, you can do your homemade brand with distilled water two parts and vinegar one part. You can add ammonium if you want to deal with copper. You'll see down here that there are a couple of little rubber washers that were 47 cents each that I put on top of the the band, or sorry, the uh, rod, you won't be able to actually see them because they're down inside the barrel. There's one up near the top and then there's one near the bottom further down. And what's going on there is they're keeping the uh, barrel from making contact with the rod, which would change the circuit. Can't really see it very well here, but I've got a rubber plug. It's from the outer's foul out system that I'm using to jam the back of the uh, barrel there so that the water or the solution doesn't leak out. Now what I've done just to make sure that things don't leak, I've got a little plastic tub again. I bought it from the paint section for two three dollars at uh, Home Depot and then uh, for this I cut out a big distilled water jug for liter one or four quart one if you're in the States and uh, it actually turns out that it's working quite nicely just holding the pistol upright because I was wondering how I was going to do that. And you see I've got the positive charge just wrapped with uh, an exposed wire around the, the barrel there. Uh, I wasn't too worried about uh, the exposed wire just because it's only one and a half to three volts uh, uh, that's coming out of there. So it's uh, again bubbling away. You can see I think some of the bubbles that are coming up there means it's still drying off lead 
and I am even an hour later here getting extraordinarily volumes of lead. So you can see here how this rod is perfectly shiny and clean. So I will put it into the barrel here slowly. You can see the rubber washers there. It's just about to go in and it's going to hold down there. So I've already got the positive charge on the barrel. What I'll do now is clip on the negative and you'll see here let's turn on the power source at the battery holder and it'll just take a matter of seconds here before you start to see it uh, bubbling up. I'll just hold the camera here and don't know if you can see it around that one side there but it's starting to bubble away so we'll just let this go for a couple of minutes and we'll see how much lead we took off that perfectly clean rod okay it's about 15 minutes maybe 10 minutes after i put this in you remember it went in squeaky clean and you can kind of see the top of the rod there it's uh, squeaky clean you can see the fluid down below which is quite brown so let's see what's on that rod and you can probably see that there are some mighty big chunks of lead on there now this is actually the least amount that I've had on there uh, in the last several tries. I don't know if you can see that in the light or not. But uh, it now looks like we're finally getting towards the end of what's there. But it is still, after probably a dozen or so attempts, maybe more, pretty impressive volume of lead to pull out of there.